Hello, this is Donna Villa of Shalom World bringing you the news from around the globe. Thousands of Catholics took part in the Walk with Christ Eucharistic procession in Sydney on Sunday. Led by Sydney Archbishop Anthony Fisher, the procession became a successful public proclamation of the Catholic faith. Catholics from various ethnic backgrounds came to participate. Archbishop Fisher concluded the procession through the streets of Sydney with a benediction in front of St. Mary's Cathedral. In his benediction homily, Archbishop Fisher proclaimed that Christ in the Blessed Sacrament, fully present in his body and soul, humanity and divinity, is the raison d'etre for the Church. The Diocese of Sydney was created on February 28, 1842. Archbishop Anthony Fisher has been serving the Archdiocese since November 2014. Pope Francis celebrated Mass at the Tokyo Dome Stadium on Monday as part of his visit to Japan. In his homily, the Holy Father urged all Christians to imitate the life of Jesus. In Jesus, we encounter a new life where we come to know the freedom of acknowledging that we are God's beloved children, said the Pope. He warned against focusing all our attention and energy on the frenetic pursuit of productivity and consumerism. Pope Francis said that worldly attitudes that look only to one's own profit or gain in this world and a selfishness that pursues only individual happiness in reality leaves us profoundly unhappy and enslaved and hinders the authentic development of a truly harmonious and humane society. Martyrs of Japan, who died during two centuries of persecution, were honored by Pope Francis on Sunday. The Pope urged Christians never to forget the heroic sacrifice of the martyrs who consecrated the ground by their suffering and death. The Holy Father said that the blood of the martyrs becomes the seed of the new life that Jesus wishes to bestow on us. The witness of the martyrs, he said, confirms us in faith and helps us to renew our dedication and commitment to missionary discipleship. In the 16th and 17th century, Christian missionaries and followers were severely persecuted in Japan for being more loyal to Jesus than the king. The National Catholic Youth Conference was held this year from November 21st through the 23rd in Indianapolis. Around 20,000 youth from 145 dioceses around the country participated. Blessed, broke, given was the theme of this year's conference. One of the major highlights of the conference was the celebration of the sacrament of penance. Hundreds of priests were able to share God's mercy with the participants. The National Catholic Youth Conference was organized by the National Federation for Catholic Youth Ministry with the help of the Indianapolis Archdiocese. Religious talks, seminars, and faith music were also part of the event. Hungary kick-started its second international conference on Christian persecution in Budapest on Tuesday to shine light on Christian persecution. The primary aim of the conference is to foster closer cooperation between governments, governmental, and non-governmental organizations. Hungary's Prime Minister Viktor Orban is a keynote speaker for the event. Other participants include Nigerian Bishop Matthew Hassan Kuka, Hungary's State Secretary for the Aid of Persecuted Christians Tristan Ajbej, and the head of the Evangelical Community of Syria and Lebanon, Reverend Joseph Kassab. Christianity is the world's most persecuted religion. According to various reports, 80% of the people who are persecuted for their faith are Christians. Thank you for watching and for your support. Stay in touch on social media, our app, and online at shalomworld.org. May you walk in the light of the Lord, and may peace be with you always.